Balfron Classic Collection. I was honestly debating today, should I play this game on my PC? Because the PC is overall just more fun. Um, but, and then I was like, you know what, let's just play on console. Because, uh, you know, I've got some other stuff I want to do today. Um, and then I was also thinking, tomorrow I'll do on a live stream. Because I get back around 9. It's a bit of a late one on Thursdays. So, yeah, basically we're going to be live streaming for the rest of the week. Every single day. It's going to be mental. Um, stay tuned. I don't know what we're doing. Tomorrow's going to be Prayer to Hunting Grounds. I think. Because that game is just balling, bro. Let me just get the... Uh, copy the text. Bing bang bomb. Oh, God. This takes me so long. I'm becoming an amateur at this by the second. Uh, the title is... Star Wars Outlaws Looks Trash. Uh, here we go. Star Wars. That's the title of the stream. What a lovely fitting title. Because the game does look garbage. Do people actually want to be playing that? Oh, here we go. The thumbnail. ka -ching. That thumbnail I made for these Battlefront streams is banging. I was honestly debating, oh, how do I how do I make it look good? Because the characters are in the way of the screen. And I was like, you know what? Let me just, uh, let me just underlap it. And it suits it perfectly. Uh, let me go through this. Then we get YouTube on my phone. What's up? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm just about to play some classic collection. On a Wednesday. I just, I, I've got just this like urge to just want to just create content. Or just do something with the channel every day of the year. Just, just constantly, non-stop. It's kind of like a cocaine rush really. I don't know how that would feel like, don't ask me, but yeah. Uh, right, stream's working, is it? Let's see. Right, it's all good. Uh, Scotty, how you doing? And no second update, it's starting to think they stopped caring. Yeah, there is no second update. Um, didn't they say one was going to be like arriving shortly? How long is shortly in their opinion? Yeah, this might be one of the... I don't know, I'll, I'll live stream this every now and then, but if I've got the place, or the the PC loaded up, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the the original version from now on, um, the original Battlefront 2 version. Like, so say it's like a day like today where it's like, bro, I just need to, you know, start live stream as quick as I can, because um, this one's gonna be about an hour long live stream. Then it's like, oh, bro, Spy's got a dedicated server back on. Maybe they do care. <laughs> But yeah, if it's like a... Uh, yeah, look, like Conquest of Spy dedicated server. Wonderful. But yeah, if it's a day like today where it's like, I need to really just like get on live stream quick, then I'll play the Battlefront Classic Collection. If not, I'll just boot on my PC and uh, play the original version, because that, that game's just way more fun. I just I tried to join you before, uh, but game is region locked. Is it actually region locked? Oh shoot, I guess it would be. Actually, no, I don't know. Why is it really... Bro, I don't know. They, they, they lost the plot a while back, but... Oh, yeah, this server, I can actually, like, kamikaze myself without dying. Right? Oh, it's wonderful. I love the Aspire server. No, I'm joking. They do, they do need to make it so you uh, can't do that. You're in the US. An American. You know, there is a uh, allegiance with the Americans and the, I guess, British. So, you know, there's a there's a dub there. I like Americans, really. Um, I like the, the hillbillies, to be fair. No, not the hillbillies. Um, <laughs> I think the best type of Americans are the ones that are, like, extremely patriotic and gangster. Well, you can only be gangster by being patriotic, so... 
you know, they're, they're the best type of Americans. Right now, far from it. Well, yeah, the, you know, for some reason, there's this, this huge power shift. All right, here we go. I just randomly started talking about politics. Um, but yeah, there's this, there's this huge shift where everybody thinks that, oh, you know what? Let's just do whatever we want. Let's just go mental. And it's just like, bro, why, why can't we just be back in the fifties, bro? Why can we not revert? I don't care how trash it was in the fifties, but then again, I do have the internet and the internet is pretty baller. Oh, come on, that was not a kill. A possible civil war. Well, they're always, like, going on about, like, oh, this, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. At the end of the day, bro, everybody's not gangster enough to even start a war. What would they do? They just, they, they, they don't care, bro. They just... Bro, they're, they're all these people who are, like, going to all these, like, stupid little, uh... They go, they go to all these, like, events to try and spew their political beliefs. All they do is, like, have one little scrap and that's it. Like, they think they're, like, the next Napoleon. Bro, you ain't doing anything. M like, if I had a goldfish, it would actually be more skillful at battle than you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, look, the lag. Oh, no. What's up, Nika? How you doing? We're playing some classic collection. Um, I was just saying to Scotty right there. If it's like on a day where I've got a bit more time to like set up the live stream properly. Like today I was in, I've got some stuff I want to do. So I need to, um, I, I need to live stream as soon as I could. But if it's like a day where I've got a bit of time to, you know, just like get the live stream ready and everything and just like whatever. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to live stream the uh, original game from now on. Remember what we were doing before? Because the original game on PC is way more fun than uh, this. This is not bad. It's it's something, but the turning's getting really annoying. The lag is something else. Um, I don't know. Is Battle from One dead? It's it is fully dead. There is about one or two people in in the game. It's I don't know how it's it's gotten to this point. Okay, right, that was a good kill. Yeah, when everyone, when anyone tries to shove an opinion down their, uh, somebody's throat, it's really annoying. It's the same thing as when people go like, um, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. It's like, bro, just, just actually just go away. I want to, I want to just, um, you know, as long as you're not like a, a complete idiot. Like, if you don't affect my life, then just, then that's all right. But yeah, I don't think people really understand that concept. It's not even a hard concept to understand. Basically, what I'm saying is everybody needs to play Battlefront 2 at least once a day. Like, I'm not even doing that, but I, I need to do it. Like, it, it should be mandatory. Like, in the morning or something. If it was mandatory, I don't care how I'm doing it, but... It needs to be, like, mandatory at least once a day or something to just sort out, you know, your internal functions of everything. I honestly think I could live to 100 by playing Battlefront 2 every single day. Is that a crazy thing to say? I don't think it is. I think it makes sense. What's up Jumbo? How you doing? That's what I do with Andor though, the best Star Wars show. No, there are some things I need to shove down people's... Okay, right, that sounds... Okay. There are some things... Like, things I stand for, right? I'm always going to be like hyperbolic, right? In in my ways on YouTube, like all my videos, they're a bit they're like an exaggerated. Okay, they're not. They are they are actually my true thoughts, really. Um, okay, I can't really deny that. Um, but you know, to, to you know, to be a hypocrite here, I'm going to be a hypocrite. I don't care. Andor is garbage. Andor is the worst show ever invented. Andor was made for two year olds, pretentious two year olds. You're good. How am I? Uh, yeah, not bad. <laughs> nice to hear that. 
Uh, so Battlefront 2 is more popular. Yes, the original version on, on Steam, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gone past the point of death. Yeah, it is, it is pretty, like, like, the fact the original game has more players is, is something to state anyway. I already died. What's the best Star Wars show? I don't really like any of the Star Wars shows, really. I think that probably the best Star Wars show, um, which I need to, like, assess canon-wise if it is or not. But the only good Star Wars show is the original Clone Wars, like the Samurai Jack looking one. Other than that, they're all pretty garbage. Like, even the original Clone or even the 2008 Clone Wars is a pile of trash. It's steaming trash. Uh, being announced and released three weeks later. Well, that's one thing as well. Yeah, it was announced. There was a trailer. And then it was like, oh, yeah, the game's coming out soon. It's, that was very strange, actually. You know what? I need to... Um... Sorry, I've just adjusted the audio. Also, I can't hear any audio. Hold up. Right, here we go. Sorry. Um, I need to change the settings because I couldn't hear a goddamn thing in this game. And also, I think my volume was too loud. So I want you guys to hear the game a little bit. It might need to turn up. Bro, you're a two-year-old. Couldn't comprehend it. All the other shows are for two-year-olds. I, I think I think the, uh, the Samurai Jack Clone Wars is more... But then again, that, that's just even a bad point. Star Wars, at the end of the day, is just for kids. Like, I don't even enjoy Star Wars that much. Star Wars is literally for kids, and then the people think, oh no, he's actually like really like mature and everything, and like, oh yeah, it can be uh, it can be this show where it's like really dark and deep and, you know, mysterious and, you know, this thing's happening. It's like, bro, it's literally just some like random, what's it called, random like thing. It's just for kids, bro. It's literally just for kids. Which I'm not using an insult, like, bro, I used to fucking love Star Wars. But then it's just like, you know, I don't, I don't really, uh, care for it now. Um, what are you saying there? Uh, I agree with 2008 Clone Wars, uh, doesn't hold up and the 2003 one is way, uh, better. Yeah, 2000, 2000, uh, yeah, that was it, 2003 I think it was, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the newer Clone Wars, the one in 2008. The amount of plot holes is absurd. The whole the whole plot about Tyrannus in I think it was in season six when they tried to justify everything there. Like that was just a complete nightmare. Like you got Obi-Wan like like being surprised and everything. Like it doesn't make any sense. Um there's also other stuff as well that just doesn't make sense. I've just got growing up growing an of the lag, damn it. What happened? I was just changing the audio sense. Um just so people could hear the audio a bit better on the uh, game. No, but I'll tell you this about Andor, right? And I've already go. I've already talked about this in my in, in my video, right? About how the point, uh, like, was it? You know, Andor not being captured by the Empire. It was stupid, and he should have definitely been captured by the Empire. Um, also, Mon Mothma's idea is stupid. People don't actually understand the whole point around that scene. Right? I watched it a good few times and it's really easy to understand, but for some reason people don't understand it. The thing is about Andor and the Mon Mothma scene, where she's trying to get like a, an excuse, she's trying to make it so that she can hide her money well, right? But she needs an excuse to, um, uh, what is it? Uh, an excuse why the, all the money's coming in, right? And her excuse is, is that her husband, was it Peril or something? He's, or, or Pyrrhal, or per oh, I don't know, Perrin, that's it. Um, that her husband is a gambling addict, right? So that, bro, bro, imagine if all, like, flipping tax evaders were just gambling addicts. Oh, how, what a wonderful world that would be. But, you know, that that's the excuse. And then for some reason, like, this is a huge thing as well, because it does actually provide a lot of, like, uh, qu like uh, consequence, right? Because then after that, it's like, well, okay, her kid's now... Like, uh, was it, uh, her, is it her daughter? 
has to have, be like in some sort of like arranged marriage, even though they're only like 15 years old. So, like, yeah, it's a pretty big deal for her character and motivation and reasoning. Bro, literally everything about that whole scene is a pile of steaming trash. And anybody who, you know, tries to justify it does not understand anything. It just do it doesn't make sense. There's no way you can try and make sense out of it. So don't try. Um, yeah, like, I, I guess you can have some Star Wars medium that, I, you know, is, like, I guess, more mature. But, yeah, bro, at the end of the day, you've just got, the, the whole show is, the whole thing about Star Wars is just about, like, flipping Jedi and Sith going around with lightsaber and stuff. People go, oh, this, you know, Star Wars isn't about, like, just good guys and bad guys. There's a lot of, like, you know, personal character stuff. Bro, it's literally about good guys and bad guys and what it means to be good or what it means to be bad. It's, it's not deep. Skull and Bones, I, uh, you know, I heard some things about it. But uh, Ubisoft have made a lot more worse than that, right? Yeah, it's... Uh, uh, Star Wars Outlaws is going to be trash as well. It's kind of funny when they, uh, they, uh, they keep going on about this... Uh, oh gosh, I should have rolled there. Uh, you know, they they go on about like, you know, if old jab is in the game, this person's in the game and stuff, it's like we all know what's going on now. <coughs> Have I ever rage quit? No, I'm not the one to rage quit. I'm a true warrior. Your friends hyped up uh, outlaws? Yeah, like it, like it, it's like some huge open world game apparently, but you have to play as some like British woman that nobody even really cares about. Like, I say British and like, like, no, I don't mean it is in a bad way. What I mean it, is, bro, you have to be playing as this like, I don't know. You just have to play it as this stupid like female character who's really like overhyped just to be some sort of like feminist icon, probably. Like, you know, it's just now if she was British, she'd probably get away with it, right? But no, I don't know what she is. Go play KOTOR 2. Um, you know, maybe the KOTOR game is a good storytelling or something. I didn't get past the first couple missions. That game is just so boring. The way it's handled, the gameplay, it's nothing like Star Wars The Old Republic. At least the MMO actually had some, like, you know, stuff behind it. But, yeah, I can't I can't play those games. They're just, they're so outdated. They're so boring. I don't know how even people liked it to begin with, but, you know. People like the games. Yeah, we did lose. It was a fat L. How am I doing? Yeah, not bad. I'm uh, trying to get better at the game on PS4, but I'm so much better on PC. Like, I, I, I literally went to go turn on PC. Uh, was it? Um, uh, was it yesterday? Well, no, it was the day before yesterday because I was getting some. Uh, I was getting some footage for some video, right, for the video yesterday. Go check out the Star Wars Outlaws video if you haven't. It is a banging video. It is uh, one of my favorites, actually. One of the favorites I've made. Um, just some good stuff in there. But, uh, yeah, I noticed how much better I was at playing Battlefront 2 on PC. Like my aim's better. My, you know, controls are better. I'm, like, rolling the tons, flipping, you know, getting mad headshots and everything. Like, just everything in general is just better. Um... Like, I feel like my game sense is even worse on this, and I don't even know how that makes sense. Oh, come on. But yeah, so we're going to probably play some of the original on Steam uh, ever so shortly. Uh, probably in a couple of days. Friday. Yeah, Friday will be a, uh, a stream on PC. Probably. Yes. Be Yoda? I don't really like doing heroes, I won't lie. The heroes are just a bit... Oh my god. Oh what? Bro, I made such a good play and I messed that up.
Okay, maybe I'll go third person, work out better. Holy hell. Shoot, I was going to get a nice kill there. Um, <coughs> what I was thinking about today was Planet of the Apes, right? I was thinking about, all, you know, what the films are actually good. Um, now, a lot of people really like the new films. And when I originally watched them, I thought they were quite good. But War of the Planet of the Apes, which I uh, I was, you know, I, I used to think was, you know, probably maybe the best one. Um, War and Dawn implement a reasoning for, uh, I think it's actually mostly... Uh, no, it must be, yeah, it must be, uh, yeah, it must have been War. And the reasoning behind why the humans go mute. And that doesn't make any sense. That is, um... Pretty poor. So I don't really like that trilogy. And then I was thinking about some of the other films, the original ones. Didn't really like some of those either. I think the, the only ones you're supposed to watch are probably the first one. I need to watch Beneath again. Because there's moments of Beneath I like, but I need to f you see if there's some major plot issues or anything. We're playing Tanev though. Tanev Donnie, yeah. Mm. Let's go sniper. It's been a while. Oh, the lag. Look at this. Okay, we're going this way. I don't know how that wasn't a kill. Okay, the lag's ridiculous. Let's go up here. Oh, mate, how? How? Would have been sweet. I don't want to play Leia, I don't want to. You know, we're going to play Bomb and Spy. Spy up. Are we going Invers? Oh, really? Bro, I should have... I, I know I saw the nade, I was... I was I was kind of debating 50-50 if it was a teammate's need or not. Get out of my way, bro. You don't know who I am. Oh my god. Bro, it's just like going into a grenade fest. I know that's how the game is already, but you know, I'm just poor at it. How they cap that point as well. This guy's doing mad to get that point. Huge 1v1. Oh, yes. Donny. Throw a nade over there as well. I actually need some heals. Okay, that was a nice nade. That's got to be a kill, right? It's got to be a kill. I don't know what I'm doing. Bro. He was literally one more shot. And I messed it up. Um, but yeah, so I was, uh, I was, uh, you know, let me talk about some Star Wars Outlaw stuff here for a second. Um, so yeah, they, they, they released the trailer. Come on, mate. Ooh. They released the trailer 
Um, and people already were, you know, were thinking about the game anyway. When it came out. God, what, what a shot. And uh, I, I think the game suffers from the fact that it could have just been, could have just been a normal open world game. God, the hit detection's horrific, isn't it? And the lag and the yeah, it could have just been a normal open world game, and you know I think some people would have been happy, but they didn't want to do that. But also, if they would have done it like that, then it would have had to be online. Then you've already got Swator. So, you know, I understand why they didn't do it, but still a poor decision. Bound from three, I don't know when it is, you know, coming out, but Okay, there we go. I don't know what's going on here. It's playing first person. I kind of like it with a sniper, I won't lie. Bro, I dodged. What is this world? Okay, that was a good kill. Did I even get the kill? Did somebody else actually nick the kill from me? Right, I actually want to count this point as well though. Come on, we can win the game, yeah? Bro, we won the game. That was a good stomp, actually. Quite a few people in there as well. It was not not a bad match. Right. Oh, Uta Park, really? Uta Park this early on in the game? I've been stream. I I still need to keep streaming, bro. I'll do it for about an hour-ish, but mate, I don't know if I even want to stream tomorrow. Maybe I need to, but maybe I should have just not streamed today, and maybe just stream tomorrow. I don't know. We're still going, but it's one of those things. Are like you know, I I like streaming, but doing it all the time, it, it does feel like a little bit of a chore. Videos are more creative. Videos are way more fun to make. Especially when you've got a topic that you know you got to like create one on. I don't know where this guy is, but I'm just going to... Okay, that's a really poor decision. Okay, now we're dead. This is what I mean about Utpa. Oh, come on. It would have been a mad snipe. Did I even get him? What the actual hell is going on here? Uh, I'm going to also watch the Fallout episode tonight, so I'll give you some thoughts on that. Um... I don't know, I might not even stream tomorrow, I might. I do, I do kind of want to play some prayer hunting around, so. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'll give you my thoughts on the Fallout episode, uh, probably tomorrow then. So, <coughs> see what that's like. I'm thinking it's probably going to be, you know, pretty trash. I don't know, like, I don't know, it could be really good. The the thing is about Fallout is I know nothing clearly obviously about the Fallout series, 
So it might be amazing, it might be bad, but I feel like even if it's good, the TV show, I can't really make a video on it and give my opinion on it. I don't know. Normally I'm the type of guy to just be like, you know what, screw it, I'm making a video on whatever. But for that, it's like, I don't know much about the Fallout series, so I don't know if it's true to the canon and what really the canon is. Uh, so, you know, it's something I don't want to make a video on. So I might not even make a video on it. Or maybe I just make a video called, maybe I just make the most neutral video ever about the ser about the uh, series. If I if I like the series, because you know the series could still flop. The, s the series could still be bad. Oh come on. Really? Um, but I don't know. It looks all right. There's 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 parts in the in the trailer, I guess, that just look a little bit kind of uh, average. I don't know, actually. I'm I'm going to be writing some more of my uh, story I've got though today after the stream. It's um. It's post-apocalyptic, so I guess it could be inspired by Fallout. To be fair, it was when I was watching, it was, it was when I started to watch videos on uh, Joshua Graham, uh, and I was like, okay, well, this is a cool character. Now I like the Fallout world. Um, you know, what what videos could I, I make that are on Fallout? Oh no, what um, you know, story could I make that is similar to Fallout? And I thought of this, so. Oh shoot, that would have been a nice kill if he didn't tear it up. Okay, I'm just pinpoint. I'm pinpoint accurate. You can't stop me. Okay, I don't know how he, I don't know how he lived that. What a disgusting little shot that was. See if I can get a kill from that. What's up, Sci Fi? How you doing? I was wondering actually, Sci Fi, because I was just talking about it a second ago. Because um, I know you do your, your uh, videos on TV series. Are you making a, a video on Fallout? Because I'm going to be watching an episode tonight and, and see what it's like. But yeah, I was just wondering, uh, yeah, are you making a video on that? Because I think, I think that'll be doing good. I don't know much about Fallout, but... You know, uh, I'll watch the show. It might be good, it might be bad. I've got a reload glitch now. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, what am I doing? Your first live stream was pretty bad yesterday. I didn't even get a notification when you were live. I think the reason why though is because I have my I have my YouTube account only pretty much on my PC. I have got like huge paranoia that my phone is gonna be like taken from me or something and like my YouTube channel is gonna be deleted. So after every live stream I remove my Google account from um my phone. I don't know if that's like super light paranoia or something. But it's what I do. Can I just melee? Where's the melee button? But I need a melee, I'm trash. Um but yeah. Yeah, the Fallout show is on uh Prime, it's just released. All all the episodes are released today. But yeah, I thought I thought you could make a, a good a good video out of that. But you know. Only if you only if you like it or only if you want to do a video on it. It is technically sci fi, isn't it? It's uh post apocalyptic and Yeah, I guess it is sci fi. Of course it is. 
Well, I know a lot of people are quite eager for it, but you know, uh, it, it, does it stay true to like the lore of the Fallout series? Like, I've never played Fallout. I want to. Well, I think Fallout would be a really good. Uh... Oh, come on, bro! I can't snipe. I'm killing myself. Respawn, yes. Did you do a live stream then just by yourself, or was it with um? Is it your cousin? You said. Are you the guy who's got like the twirly moustache? Is it a moustache? Oh, maybe I'm just like imagining someone else now. You know the main Donny of the channel. I don't know what I'm talking about really. You're a huge fool out man. Well, I guess actually it would be more your generation, I would say. I don't know, I say that, but like, uh, you know, you are you are older than me, you know, so that's not an insult. Even if it was an insult, I'm still stating the truth, still stating the facts. Um, but, you know, a, a lot of people in my kind of a bracket, my age bracket, you know, weren't, you know, when it, we weren't old enough to play Fallout. It was, a, it was like a boogie game, a boogie game. Uh... The boogeyman game, um, but yeah, I always watch like the leafiest here videos though, and he's uh like, you know like got Fallout stuff in there and everything. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Oh look at that! Look at the beam at range. Nah, it was your home girl. What the what? No moustache, just swag. I'm just trying to think now. One of you has a moustache, right? Wait, oh yeah, the nose ring, that's it. The flipping bull nose ring. Is that you? Oh, bro, Shane's doing modded Friday the 13th. Oh, gosh. Oh, my. Friday the 13th. What the actual... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do. The bull ring, yeah. So you're the cool one. I'm not saying a bull ring's cool, but, you know, do what you do. I don't, I don't understand, like, tattoos, flipping, like, any sort of, like, earring or whatever. Basically, it's an earring, right? I don't know. I don't get it. Like, I don't know, like, especially tattoos. That's one thing I, I've never understood. Why on earth would you want to get something, like, ink imprinted into your skin? That you can never get like rid of something. Like when I mean, somebody also says they get a tattoo, it's always the flipping like what is it? Like eighteen-year-old girls, and they're all like, "Oh yeah, I just got the I got like a picture of the flipping flower, flipping moon on my wrist or something, or a moon on my neck or like it's just some random." It's like, bro, why have you got a moon? I can't aim for crying out loud. I'll just I'm killing myself again. I'm gonna switch classes. Hey, Jaden, what's up, bro? But yeah, I, I do I do advise against tattoos. I'm not sure if you've got a tattoo, but bro, if you can delete that, I would say delete it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I'm just flipping this and everyone. I don't know what I'm on about really. You good? Yeah, I'm not bad, man. Just playing some Battlefront 2. Uh, I was actually saying a bit earlier, but I'm gonna be starting to play the original Battlefront 2 on Steam um, compared to the classic collection because the original game just runs a lot better and it's just a lot more fun and I'm better at it and it's easier to you know I don't really like stream on PlayStation 4 I won't lie bro the lag is horrific as well 
But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Fallout is out right now. Um, I can, I can watch it right now if I wanted. But I don't even buy Prime. That's one thing that's quite good is uh, don't have to waste my money on that. Because I, I'm at, I'm at the University of Harvard, studying law. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all pirates say, Donny. No, I'm joking. I'm not actually. Okay. I'm... Oh my god. Oh my god. How did I get that last shot? Hey, Super, what's up? This match is just pure chaos. It's just the whole. It's Utapar in general. Oh my god. The lag's just horrific today. I can feel it, and then that's just bad aim as well. You want know, have a grenade, you little? Oh, why is he trying to get up to me? Let's go. Wait, what? New plans? Yeah, new plans. That's the plan. People say no plan is the best plan. They're all wrong. They are all wrong. All of them. Stupid. You always have to have a plan. Every scenario, every point, every turn in your life. Why would I? What? what so I just have to have no plan. How the hell is that gonna? How that? How on earth is that gonna get me anywhere? What's that gonna do? For me? Hopefully the show's bad, so the views are better. Yes. Bro, that's what exactly I get. Like, when, when Disney are, like, planning to announce something, I'm actually, like, secretly in my mind, like, bro, I just, I actually really hope that it's actually just really just god-awful. Because I know the video is going to get, like, 10x times more views. <laughs> I don't think that's even good for say, Bro, I'm just straight up, even if a show is good, I'm going to make a video saying it's trash. I'm going to find, like, the smallest little nitpick and just be like, yep, yeah, Ruined for me. I'm not. I'm not watching anymore. I don't care. That's what I do. Ten x times more views. That's what I did with the Andor show. Even though the Andor show is garbage. Uh. But yeah. And like you know, I do it with anything really. But but my my takes are still valid. When, whenever the, I'm not sure if you guys ever have this. I I get it a lot when when thinking about like media shows or anything I'm always like oh you know it was good but like you know this one little thing's really annoying me and it's such an irritating piece of trash that I just think th the whole thing's garbage okay and I think that's a good philosophy if something isn't like and it's not even about being perfect or something it's just about being annoying that's exactly what these shows are because like, for example, I watched The Bad Guys uh, the other day, right? Just some flipping animation film or whatever. And I thought it was really good. Until the main characters are dressed up in pink teddy bear onesies and are shown to be a bunch of idiots. Uh, well, they're not shown to be a bunch of idiots, I would say, but, you know, it, it just makes them look like idiots. Uh, so I don't like that. Uh, is this guy going to go for the health? So, yeah, and then, and then also at the end of the show, there was this whole, uh, a whole, a whole, uh, at the end of the movie, there's this whole bit about them having some sort of, like, girl trip or something. It's just like, bro, just end my life. I'm on a speed run to get cancelled. Here's a video idea that make you go viral, but a lot of dislikes. Why Invincible is overrated. What do you mean, Invincible? Oh, you mean like Invincibles, like the, the animation film? I'm not on a speed run to get cancelled. I'm a speed run, I'm, on a, I'm not on a speed run to have like some empire. Uh, it's like that scene in, uh, what's it called, Breaking Bad. And like, people like took it as a joke, bro, what is this bro? <gasps> what is actually that? Um, sorry, but yeah, like people actually like take the quote from Bacon, Breaking Bad as something like a villain says, right? And he goes, he goes like this, right? He goes, um, uh, oh, you asked me, what am I in? 
the meth business or the money business. I'm in the empire business. And that's exactly me. Bro, I ain't in it for like... Bro, I'm in it... I don't know. What am I in YouTube for? What is the ultimate long-term plan? It's just for a lot of stupid little people online um, to disagree with me. And then also a lot of great people to agree with me. That's the ultimate plan. Um, I think that kind of sounds in some way like... Culty, but hey, I've not got like some flipping guidelines to religion or anything. I'm just stating my trash on TV shows and, and this guy is really annoying me. <laughs> just spam R1, R2, and you just won every scenario in this game. How? He's standing right close to me. Yeah, the animated show. Yes, okay, I'll uh... I will, I will make a video on that. Oh yeah, because people really like Invincibles. Invincibles 2's garbage as well, right? Because I remember at the end of Invincibles, right? Um... Is it Invincibles or... Yeah, it is Invincibles, isn't it? The one with like the, the, the superheroes and you've got like... Stretch Woman and... Speed Kid. He's like on meth or something, I don't know. Um, or like he's on cocaine. Yeah, probably probably cocaine. Um, but like, the the thing is with the second one, like at the very end of the first one, you're like, okay, there's this like mole guy who's like some like super evil villain and whatever. I thought he was genuinely going to be like the main villain of the second one. I was like, oh my gosh, bro, this guy looks gangster. He's got, he's, he's like a mole. He, he just... And then, for some reason, they're just like, oh no, he's just some random character at the beginning of the film. It's like, I just, I want to see the mole guy. Why is this? So, yeah. Wrong show, I think. What's Invincible? Invincible. Oh, here we go, it's a, it's a show. Invincible is a must watch. Oh no, I've never heard this. I'm thinking of some other thing then. Omni Man? Who's Omni Man? Sounds gay. Uh, Battlefront 2 2017. That's the thing. Some people like really like, like, you know, the people who are really big fans of this, the original game, which I'm like a super mega fan. Like, I could not be even more. Even more, less of a mega fan of this game, right? Like I say, the original game is my favorite Battlefront. But when people say that, you know, the Battlefront 2017 is trash, like they they don't understand. It is a different game, and also I think it's different in like a good way as well. Like Battle, it kind of feels like Battlefield, but Star Wars. I really like it. I think it's really good. I think Battlefront 2 2017. Is probably, I guess, I don't know. It's maybe the best Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, how do I categorize it. It's the best Star Wars game by far. Like, it's not even not even close. Um, you know, people can say, "Oh, that's just trash to say." There's other games out there that are better Star Wars games. No, the best Star Wars game is Star Wars Battlefront 2 2017. Okay, that's a fact. Even though they've got sequel content, I don't like the sequel content or anything, but it's still the best. Uh, but the the original game, the the gunplay and the gameplay, for me feels so like slick and Arcadia, like oh it's so banging. But then again, I I don't know if I'm in a different mood. I like to play the the 2017 one. So yeah, it really just depends on on the the day really. Uh, hold up, I will read the comment. I'm I'm probably gonna die. Yeah. Just kill me, mate. Oh, damn it. Um, what's up? Darth Niners, Valkorion, Darth Skion. You'll be my first streamer, content creator for... Uh, wait for it. What do you mean? Oh, uh, the 2017 one, 
Uh, I have KOTOR and SWTOR skins. 2003 Clone Wars movie skins, it's awesome. Oh, I see. No, I don't I don't have mods, unfortunately, because I'm on... Been, uh, what's it called? Uh, PS4. But the original game, I could get mods, but I, don't, I just don't really care for them. Original, I have not watched. Uh, I have not even looked it up. Oh, the mods for this game. Yeah, the mods for this game were actually really good. Uh, the, the new game, though, does have some banger mods. Uh, these missing textures are still not in the game, by the way. But, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know, mods have always been a thing, like, you know, they're kind of cool with, like, single player stuff and everything. Like, if you're only playing single player, yeah, mods are, like, just pretty dope. But, for me, I really like online, online multiplayer. That's where I've always, like, looked to as, as the, as the gem. But yeah, I used to play a lot of single player. Also because I didn't think my PC could run multiplayer that well. Turns out I could. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take that. What kill? What kill? How is that droid not messed up? Get smoked. Shoot, bro. Shoot. I was going to say, if I missed it with that and he was on 1 HP, I think I want to just uh, end the live stream right now. But this will be the last match of the game. I won't lie. Six people watching, nobody said anything on the live stream. Just had a talk between. Yeah, like, that's the thing, though. You, you do get it on live streams. Like, you know, if you if you were to like live stream straight away, say say you wanted to just be like only doing uh, uh live streams, like no videos and nothing, like you just have to talk to yourself, or in general, like for even if you're doing videos, like you do just have to talk to yourself. You just got to treat it as a YouTube video, which it's like an extended YouTube video. There's gonna be that one person that's gonna join and they're gonna like it. You know, I got extremely lucky because it's like. Bro, I, launched, I did the live stream when the game came out and like, I get some guys every now and then. But now it's quieting down and I, I do think it's going to probably just stay like this f for a little while. But I'm not too bothered. I need to get the videos up. That's why I normally do the videos in the week. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not too crazy of a thing. Like, yeah, like I know it's, it is demoralizing. I know everyone's out here for the grind. But it's kind of just like, well... I always kind of take it like this as well. I try and like play really well if I'm uh, if everything else is going like to like trash. I want to be some like pro player or something like that. Flipping time shot, it's just beautiful to watch, bro. It's uh, all psychological. The unit Kylo Ren. Oh, I don't know what some of the skins are wearing, but but then people had. I didn't even realize what was crazy about it, is that in in the mods and you know even like the old game as well, they could actually like change abilities and stuff, and that's pretty cool. Oh, bro, we just given them high ground. Yeah, views were going mental. Uh, I'll tell you what I will do though, because uh, I had a I had a friend online that I, I you know I was uh, uh, you know we we used to do a lot of content back in the day, and I say a lot of content. Basically, this is how it worked, and it was an insane strategy, um, and honestly, it worked perfectly, right? And it, you know, if you wanted to do it with me, I think it would be brilliant. So I used to stream uh, in the afternoon, early afternoon, and he used to stream late afternoon. And then I was streaming in the evening. So I would do my stream. I would sell my stream. 
I would send all my guys over to his stream uh, after when I'm done. And then I would uh, live stream later and he would send all of his guys back over to my stream. So it's like a constant loop of just like just stream and like people joining and stuff. And like, you can imagine when the games were getting good and everything. Like this was a couple of years back now on my old channel. Uh, I probably should have just kept the channel around but uh, we're back here again. Same name. I had about 400 subs there before I quit it. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a really good strategy. And like ultimately, like that's definitely the way you want to go with live stream if you know somebody else is live streaming. Yeah, well, at one point, yeah, it was about 300 people in the stream. is mental. Have you ever played the DLC maps? Uh, yeah, but for some reason, they're not in the rotation. Uh... Oh my god, what a shot. Couldn't make it up. Couldn't make it up. Yeah, I don't know why the Renvar maps and stuff aren't in the... How is that on a kill? On in rotation. But yeah, if that's if there's a game that you want to like, live stream day one or mate, uh, that's definitely the strat that you that, you know should go with. I'm thinking some like new multiplayer game. It doesn't matter anyway, because when Battlefront 3 releases, everybody who's doing YouTube for Battlefront 3, they're going to be millionaires. Like, there's no, there's no doubt about it. All it takes is for them to drop Battlefront 3 and everybody is a multi-billionaire, quadrillionaire, and it doesn't even matter. Like, you could just be like some random dude in India with the worst internet connection. But as long as you've brought Battlefront 2 and as long as you can live stream, like, it doesn't matter if it's like 320p or whatever, or I don't know, whatever the... What was it like 1080 uh, was it 180p or something? I don't know. As long as it, as long as you can live stream and you're streaming Battlefront, you're going to be a millionaire. I guarantee it. There's going to be so many millionaires. And they're going to be like, oh, bro, I wish I could be a millionaire. It's like, oh, how did you do it? I played Battlefront 2. What do you mean you played Battlefront 2? That's how you do it, mate. That's how you do it. The main problem is you're in the UK when I'm streaming. It's 2 a.m. in the UK. Ah. Uh, uh, 6 p.m. You, yeah. But then again, like if a big game drops or something, like you know, like Battlefront 2 did, bro. I live stream that uh, at uh, midnight all the way till the afternoon. So like, if I need to, bro, I'm gonna. Um, have I had any crashes lately? Uh, no, actually, it's been all right. It's not been too bad. Uh, even though I have on Pro Tonic Grounds for some reason. Anyway, guys, that's it for the uh, for the live stream. It's been a good one. Uh, I'm going to do some writing now because I've got some banging story. You know, part-time author out here. Uh, you know, nothing nothing big. Just going to make a bestseller. Um, but yeah, I, I put all my faith in luck. I won't lie. Uh, but thank you, Nico, Sci-Fi, Jaden, uh, Super, Jumbo, Scotty, thanks a million guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream, and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow for some Predator Hunting Grounds, the best survival game ever made. And then Friday will be some PC Battlefront 2, the original on Steam. None of this classic collection, like trash looking glitches and everything. We're going to be playing the original, and it's going to be so good. And I'm so good here, I'm actually hyped. So, yeah, uh, can't wait for that. In a bit. Have a good one. See you later.